Today is December the 11th, 12-11, and our title is Block 3DP. Oop, almost left that out there. Block 3DP. Okay, let's go ahead and get our sketchbooks opened. Looks like I'm on to a new page. Please don't forget on a new page that you divide your paper both vertically, up and down, and horizontally left to right. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Don't forget to put the date at the top, please, 12, 11, and let's get started. So we're going to create a foreshortened square, and how we're going to do that at the top of this box is to do two dots, one on each side, find the middle, go above and below just a little, and then attach, connect those together. So you have what looks like a squash diamond. Erase any dots that you can still see. We don't need to see those, and make sure that they're gone. Go ahead and bring down the left, straight up and down, the right, straight up and down, and the middle, straight up and down, but this one should be a little bit longer than the other two. These should be equal, this should be longer. If you're not sure, just lay your pencil and check. Yep, plenty long. Okay, just like how this angle's here, angle it here. Just like how this angle's here, angle this here. Okay, we're going to bring the P up this way, like this, straight up and down, the bottom of it and then curve the rest of it up into the top. Okay, just like that. Now it's going to be super easy today because we're only going to have to bring it back in one spot. Let's go ahead and do the middle part first and then we'll pull that angle back. So if you follow this line up and to find the middle of your piece, so it's right about here, and bring it around. Just like that. Okay? Now, the only place that you're going to bring this back today is at the top right at this point okay so you're just going to bring this and follow straight back the same angle that you have right here and that's it so go ahead and erase what you don't need so right now we're not going to need actually I'm going to round that just a little bit we're not going to need any of this box over here at all all of this can go and pretty much what you have left is your block P Let's add some shading and then we'll be finished. Okay, so we're going to start with some dark to light here in the middle, just a little bit of dark here in the corner, and then as you move down, lighten it up. Okay, I'm going to erase that little mark I made there. I don't want to see that. Okay, and we're going to do a solid gray shading, a light gray, all along the left side here. So just nice and easy. Get this filled in. So there's that, and we're going to do a cast shadow off of the bottom, and then we'll be done. So this angle that's coming off this direction, we're going to continue that angle, and we're just going to bring it off corner to corner and stop. Okay, so not very far. Make sure it goes to the edge. And that's it for today. Pretty easy. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you watch your proportion. Okay, you don't want one real skinny side and one real fat side. Try to make it as even as possible all the way around. Don't forget to erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Also, we've got shading, a blended shading from dark to light on the inside. We've got a solid light gray on the outside here. And then a cast shadow at the bottom.